Hello and welcome back to our YouTube channel. I'm Sarah and I'm very excited to be joined by Natalie Tashlarova and Philip Tashla. Thank you so much for doing this. Hi everyone. Um, so what was your off season like? What did you get up to? So uh, basically off season was like, uh, we started very early to work on the programs, like uh, basically immediately after the world. So we, we were working on the new programs. Then we had some also vacation. So we did like family time. We went uh, to the seaside to relax a little bit, to recharge. And then we went back on the track for the work. So yeah. And actually after the world, I graduated my high school. I had a lot of exams. So it was a bit stressful, crazy, but uh, luckily I graduated. So uh, the vacation, <laughs> I really needed them. And yeah, we enjoyed it. And now we're back on the track. Yeah. Congratulations on graduating. <laughs> um, so how would you describe last season for you? Ooh, it was <laughs> crazy. <laughs> no, it was definitely... Uh, hard yeah it was amazing stressful also because there was a lot of competitions everything was squeezed because of the olympics and of course olympics it was something special our dream became true so it was amazing uh, also to be there at the olympics it gave us more motivations for this new olympic cycle we know what to improve, where we should go. So, yeah, I mean, the season was amazing. Yeah, actually. Yeah, we definitely enjoyed it. We yeah. met a lot of new skaters. We saw achieved the most, the best skaters in the world at the Olympics, yeah. which was amazing to uh, to be there. Yeah. And yeah, the year was crazy a little bit because I was injured uh, last summer. So it was everything like stressful. We had just two months to get ready for the qualification for the Oberstdorf. So it was tough, but we did it and we enjoyed every second and minute. And it was, yeah, I loved it. <laughs> How much pressure did you feel going into Nebelhorn? Oh, uh... I think we 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 put it a lot of pressure before in the practice, but like the healthy one, not something that would be yeah. unhealthy. And the Nebelhorn in the end, we actually didn't even feel it's a qualification yeah. for the Olympics. We tried to enjoy it. Also, our mom with our best friends, uh, they came to surprise us. So it was everything amazing in the end like yeah i feel same like also with this injury problem and everything we just said it okay let's try to put everything what we have now and let's let's enjoy it let's show what we have and it worked so actually we enjoy it then to more like stressing ah they are just uh another four spots so we didn't think about this and also our mental coach helped us a lot because we are working on it a lot so yeah I always love when people talk about working with a mental coach because I think it's something that is very important and that doesn't get discussed a lot. Yeah, I mean, I feel, I feel like everything is just about our mind. Uh, we are like, I, I feel we are setting our limits in the life. So it's good to have someone who can lead you and open this uh, new doors and the ways where we can go also like after skating so i think it's really helping and it's good to have some mental health care uh, also in this crazy century when every everything is so fast can be stressful everything so yeah it's it's good to keep to keep it uh uh calm <laughs> kind of yeah it's also helping us to to improve on our relationship a lot uh, between us and overall it's just uh, giving you to 
enjoy the hard work that you're trying to find the best way out to enjoy it. Uh, you got to compete twice at the Olympics because you got to do the team event as well. What was it like to do that and then to do the like main event, if you will? Yeah, it was kind of, it was so long, actually, the longest competition in my life. <laughs> so like the team event was, uh, it was amazing also. like I feel like we took it as a fun yeah uh, we didn't stress we were just like let's just just have fun try the ice try the program we also knew that the best skaters are watching us which yeah. we enjoy it so much and we had our teammates there and it was a different than this individual competition yeah. because you could feel that everyone are cheering for you and you can just really just have fun and show what you can do yeah. um, moving into this season you said you started your program like almost straight after world how long have you been thinking about your music for mm, actually we had this idea for since uh juniors when we moved to usa or uh, we started to work with Matteo Zane, uh, with Colin Brubaker, also Alec Epstein. Yeah, and um, yeah, we finally decided to use it, and I hope it's gonna be interesting for everyone. Um, yeah, it should be like we 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 want to try to send some message to the public and to connect with the people a lot. But still, not gonna say what is it yeah. exactly. <laughs> Our first competition should be Lombardia Trophy, so everyone will see that. Yeah. The beginning of September. I uh, sorry to burst your bubble, but your IC buy has already been updated. Mm -hmm. So it's all been announced. Ah, okay. So huh? then whatever. <laughs> ah yeah, already. it was. Oh. <laughs> then it's fine. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know that. Um, which sort of leads me into a great question of how did you pick your rhythm dance music because the um sort of pattern removal wasn't announced until a bit later on mm, so we i feel like we took it as a big enjoyment just like of course it's a bit different that we don't have any key points and these things but i feel like in the horror step we can show more dancing also for the audience. It's going to be more interesting than watching every couple doing the same key points. So the first step, yeah, pattern dance. So the first step is going to be different. So we're super excited about that. Yeah, I love it. Latino, I mean, it's fire. It's, it's really like live dance. So it's amazing. Um. How do you feel about the pattern being removed? Would you have preferred to keep it if you could have? Uh, in the beginning, it was a bit weird because like we saw or we are watching also our juniors. So they are doing the Argentine tango. And sometimes also the pattern dance can be fun or it's like, you know, for example, rumba could be this year. So uh, when I was like watching last Olympics, of course, I was trying to do it by myself in the juniors. So I was like, ah, oh, finally I can do it in the competitions. But I think it's good that it's like step forward because it was all, like over, over again. So I think it's a good step to do something new. Also for the public, I guess, like that we can go more forward in like as an ice dance, the category. So, yeah. Um, are there any specific elements that you focused on improving uh, coming into this season? Uh, I would say on everything, but yeah, we are trying to work more on the lifts to improve them, to bring something new also. So I think this one, yeah. That one. How do you approach training in the season do you focus on just your elements at the start and then sort of focus on the performance towards the end of the season or do you try and do everything like throughout the season 
everything <laughs> yeah everything everything like uh every details um yeah yeah I, I all feel, in all feel package like it's a mi- <laughs> yeah mix of everything like it's there is no way to to split it because for the competition you need to show everything what you have so of course you need to really practice exactly how you want to show it in the competition yeah um how involved are you with your costume because last season you had really uh outstanding rhythm dance costumes for example how involved are you in the process of that being made for this year for the latin um i was or i am involved a lot i would say yeah with our coaches yeah i'm excited how it's gonna turn out the dress and the free dance we we were discussing a lot the colors with the coaches also with the dressmaker to choose the right one and yeah i guess we we love this process like we put all the heads together and trying to come up with something new something interesting so yeah let's see we don't have them yet but soon so we will see very looking forward to that um are you looking forward to any specific competitions because i know you're making your grand prix debut this season definitely for these two it's uh... yeah it's it's yeah first grand prix big ones what i was watching in the tv so we are so excited to do them and of course also we would like to go yeah european worlds Actually, the world is in Japan, probably, not what I think. So i never been there, so it would be amazing to visit also that country. Uh, what are your goals for the season? Do you set goals going in, or do you just take every competition as it comes? We definitely set the or setting the goals. Yeah, we have them. Um, but I feel like the biggest one is for both of us to see the improvement that we are trying to trying to put in mm-hmm. then uh, the places like we always want to improve from the one competition to another and definitely yeah the first thing is the joy because if you can do something what you love is the best so uh let's see i mean we are we we have some goals and we will see how it's gonna work <laughs> And yeah, we will try it with the the biggest joy. I love that. Um, who are some of your skating idols and inspirations? Uh, so for me, it the was always, yeah, and the science Scott Moyer. Always. And, um, um, the last season, of course, Papa the Kiss is amazing. Madison Hubble, for yeah. sure. The Americans. Mm-hmm. Um, from the singles, like it was always Carolina Kostner when we were young, we were watching her in the TV. Um, yeah. Nathan Chen, I mean, all these amazing skaters. Yeah. Did you always compete in ice dance or did you do singles when you were younger as well? Uh, yeah, we did both uh, singles. Yeah. Also was singer for a bit. And then we tried the ice dance. Yeah. What's it like to work with your sibling? Oh, <laughs> it's no. nice. Yeah, I think it's really nice to like share this. Uh, for example, the Olympics, it was amazing that I can be in that place with my sister, with my family to share this with my mom. Also, because like, I think we gave for the skating everything together or trying to give everything. So also like, uh, for our father we, uh, who passed, it's gonna be already like passed away three years ago. So it was really emotional for us. And yeah, it's, uh, I mean, sometimes it can be up and down, but we are trying to keep it up because there is no time. Like everyone is saying, ah, brother, sister, they can fight. I don't think it's, uh, it's the rule. It's just how you take it, the relationship and we both want to work on it and yeah like 
like that. So we like it. We are still together. We, <laughs> we are skating together. Um, what's been the highlight of your career so far? Definitely the Olympics, um, yeah, the Europeans, and the world. I, I would say this whole season. Yeah, that's all. Right. Awesome. That wraps this up. Thank you so much for doing this. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.